love this anime. All right, so. folks. <laughs> Welcome back to Adobe Live. <laughs> Sorry, we're, we're laughing. Um, my, <laughs> uh, my name is Voodoo Val, and I'm going to be your host for episode two um, of this design off this week. Um, and I'm joined by my friend, Victor Davila. What's up, Victor? How are you? Hello, Val. How are you? I'm doing great. Thank you. <laughs> good, good. We are laughing because Victor thought he was muted. <laughs> And he was talking to himself <laughs> before. I like. I like. I, I want you guys to know that I have insider information now. That when Victor talks to himself, when he thinks he's alone, he sounds like a, like a fantasy hero. He sounds. <laughs> he sounds. He sounds very, very magical and introspective. It's really cool. <laughs> Oh, so this is a that's, great, that's good to know. great way to start the stream. <laughs> <laughs> um, welcome in, folks. Thank you all so much um, for coming to hang out um, and chill with us here on um, Adobe Live. Uh, if you are over on YouTube, please come over to behance.net slash live because that is where Victor and I are going to be reading the chat. I see so many uh, familiar faces in the chat already. I see Ariana, day two, woohoo, that is right. Tyler Wagner, welcome in. Yes, we're doing a second stream. This is... Uh, stream two of two um i see elevation it's good to see you my friend thank you for sticking around matt is back the one and only matt um matt let's Dombrowski. see jack rudy it's good good to see you sam peterson in the house um the uh the the mod with the powers um and elizabeth it's it's wonderful to see all of you folks um back here joining us for day two and all of you um who are who are new faces um so for anyone who is new um who maybe doesn't know what we're what we're doing today um the design off is a segment where myself um um uh, and a guest kind of jump on to the stream and we design and create cool stuff for you based on a theme um that we have uh set uh, prior to the broadcast um and we always invite Invite all of you folks to join in and design with us. So like yesterday, we are going to be working on um, some really amazing bionic arm designs um, according to the limitless guidelines. We've got some really cool templates um, below the video player for you folks to download if you would like to create some super cool bionic arms with us. Um, and yeah, we're going to jump into it here pretty quick. But before we do that, Victor, why don't you introduce yourself? Um, tell us a little bit about you and what you do for anyone who was not in the chat with us yesterday. So my name is uh, Victor Davila, and I'm an assistant professor at the University of Central Florida. And I am an affiliate faculty at Limitless Solutions. And we, um, our mission is to great, create uh, 3D printed arms for children with limb differences that we give it to them for free. And um, it's this combination, this marriage of art and engineering. And it's just a, a, a great organization, a great place that I'm so proud to be a part of. Awesome. Awesome. I'm, I'm really excited just to be able to kind of design with you and have Matt in the chat and, and uh, go over all this stuff because I um, really just love, you know, all the, the work that you folks are doing um, at Limitless. And so, yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to kind of change us over here to our dual stream um, so folks can see what we're working on. Maybe you can give also like a recap of um, of the, the pieces that you created yesterday. Okay, so these are my sketches. I've transferred them to uh, Adobe Illustrator. So I'm gonna be inking them, quote unquote inking them uh, in Illustrator tonight. I had uh, four pieces. Uh, two of them are very similar to each other, but we talked yesterday, yesterday about doing a Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse kind of theme. So like the, the three to the right are based on that. One is kind of like a metallic Spider-Man armor based on this 90s armor that he had. And mm -hmm. the other two are just the regular um, arm. And one of them is uh, taken up by the Venom symbiote. And then the one on the left, since yesterday was Veterans Day, I thought I'd do something a little bit more patriotic, a little bit Captain America. Amazing. Um, so so that's just the, the sketches that we came up with yesterday. Awesome, awesome. And, and mine was also kind of inspired by this Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse, kind of inspired by like a Spider-Gwen kind of mm. kind of vibes. We got like that teal webbing um, there and I've got like a purple base. And today what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some flat colors to the other um, views uh, of, of what I've got going here, just so we can add like, you know, flat color and, and, and kind of start fleshing out like this concept page. Um, I'm maybe going to add um, some extra like kind of... Um, more reddish purple 
uh, kind of, um, I don't know if I would say gradient, more like, like tones, like some, some, some more reddish, warmer tones, um, to kind of the shadows, um, in the painted design that I've got going here. And I'm also going to sketch in and design kind of a cartridge on the back face of this that could like release a webbing of sorts. Um, so That's this awesome. would have like a, you know, like an actual web cartridge, um, so that uh, you could you could swing through the city um, and fight crime if you like. I don't know. <laughs> That's so good. That's um, awesome. Also, Carmen is back. Um, it is good to see you, Carmen. Thank you. Everyone in the chat's like, hi, mom. <laughs> uh, that's my, my mom, Carmen. <laughs> yes, your mom, Carmen, is back. Um, thanks awesome. for letting us share our mission, Voodoo Vet. Oh, you know what? It is my it is my pleasure, um, and it's a it's an honor to be able to 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 kind of work with you guys and, and get to do this. So the pleasure is mine. Um, uh, Shauna Lynn is in chat. It's good to see you. Um, yes, Shauna's. I, I call her Mama Shauna Parmigiana. That's, <laughs> that's what, I, what I call her. Uh, so it's good to see you folks. But yeah, let's uh, let's jump into it. Um, let's just. Shauna's always so supportive. She's great. She she really is. Um, every time Shauna um, is in chat uh, watching a stream that I am on, I feel like a rock star. Um, so yep. she's uh, she's she's pretty she's pretty rad. Okay. Awesome. Um, yeah, so gonna, can I also give a shout out to Mrs. Congdon's fifth grade class at Heathrow Elementary please. in Lake Mary, Florida. I think a lot of them are going to be either watching tonight or watching, uh, you know, after the fact. So I just wanted to say hi. Oh, uh, yeah. Mrs. Congdon is my sister. So um, uh, she treats her students really, really great. And she's awesome. So I just want to say hi to her students. Oh, hopefully awesome. I'll see you guys soon. Hello, folks. Thank you for joining us. Uh, if you're here and if you are, um, if I'm, I'm if I'm, if I'm speaking to a class of students in the future right now that have yet to turn in, tune into the VOD, <laughs> hello from the past. It is great to have you. <laughs> That's awesome. Post hearts for moms. I, I I agree, Robzilla. If we could get some, if we could get some hearts in chat for Victor's mother, um, that would be fabulous. That's sweet. Let's uh, <laughs> Thanks, let's Rob. let's see the love in the chat. Um, all right, so I'm gonna add some 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 flat colors here, uh, and then I'm going to dive into, like I said, the um, the web cartridge. I don't even know if there's a like a web dispenser. I don't know what the if there's a if there's a proper or correct the web term. shooter. The we the there web you shooter. go. Yeah, web shooter. Okay, yeah. I, that's what I thought. I was like, there is some some kind of term that I'm missing here. I just don't know what it is. Yeah, because in the in the Tobey Maguire versions, they they were organic, so he he didn't have the web shooters, but in the yeah. earlier ones, as long as we're flying our geek flags really really high today. Oh, we are. Um, we are. Yeah, so, we definitely uh, <laughs> are. Um, I think I think I deliberately said like before the stream, I was like, I know we're talking about Star Wars and 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 superheroes and stuff before the stream, but like let's also do this on the broadcast. And the chat yeah. is full of hearts. I love to see it. I love it. I'm here for it. All for mom. Yep, That's awesome. all for mom. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> all right, pro tip. Love looks good on y'all. Thanks, Rob. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> Rob's sweet. Rob is very sweet. Um, he's one of my favorite people. Um, I think I think there's a lot of people in chat today who I frequently think to myself, like, I wish I could be like them when I grow up. Um, yeah. that is, <laughs> I think that it's, it's okay maybe to still think about that. Um, even at the, uh, ripe age of 28, um, I can still want to be like people when I grow up. Right. I, I think that's we, acceptable. <laughs> absolutely. We all always fan uh, somebody else, no matter where you are in the, in, in the industry, you can always fan off of somebody else. That's yep. perfectly acceptable. All right. I'm going to kind of find. I'm not sure what I just did, but there we go good spot for this again um i'm kind of like maneuvering through um the uh clipping masks i've got here um a, a tip real quick about um clipping masks is um if you are like me and you find yourself sometimes like kind of like okay i've I've used clipping masks along, uh, you know, over a shape to color something. And then on a non clipping mask layer on top of those layers, I've gone and added details. And then you want to add some clipping mask 
layers over the top of that, it's not going to clip to that original base shape anymore because you've got regular layers in between. But you also don't want to turn those regular layers into clipping masks because it may change the way that you have designed. So if you just take all of those layers below the layer you want to apply as a clipping mask and um, put it all in a group, you can actually make a clipping mask layer that clips over an entire group, um, which is what I've done here. Uh, so that's uh, that's that's how I typically do that, um, just so that I can uh, kind of get in and, and stay inside the lines, uh, so to speak, um, while I am painting. Um, it's a really kind of a cool way. Ooh, ooh, I like that. I just accidentally did something, and it's just <laughs> choice. I like this. I'm going to come back to that. <laughs> it's happy accidents are the best. Oh, yeah. Um, but yeah, it's, it's a, it's a great way to, um, to be able to, uh, kind of come back, stay inside the lines and stuff, even as a painter. Um, sometimes when you're like doing more line art and illustration, especially if you're working with vector, um, mm -hmm. like, uh, Victor is, it could be a lot easier, I think, to stay in the lines because when you're not working with like pixel raster, um, elements, um, there's, n there's not a lot of weird pixely bleed everywhere and you can pretty much like paint bucket or move things around and be pretty precise with it. Um, but once you get into the realm of like, um, raster images and painting with pixels or like painting in general, um, it can be kind of hard to get like those clean paint buckets or those clean, um, uh, paint fills, uh, where you want them. So clipping mask is, it's a, it's a definite go-to for me. Um, and that's how I like to use them. Now, do you do you um, paint traditionally as well? Do you are, are you like a, an oil painter or a um, uh, acrylics or anything of the traditional mediums? Or? I I used to paint um, because that's like all I had. Um, I never actually was a person that just loved to like paint. Um, I, I, I did have like sketchbooks and stuff when I was, when I was younger, but I was always really frustrated with my work because I would like kind of, I was, it was almost like before I started using Photoshop, I was already thinking in like the mode of like layers and free transform. Right. Um, and I used to do that actually, where I would like be drawing and I would just put a post-it down over something I didn't like, and then just draw on that post-it to complete the painting the way that I wanted or the illustration the way I wanted. And um, or I would like cut things out of a page and like put something underneath it and fill a space and all that stuff. But I think digital art is really where my painting and illustration started to seriously flourish. Um, however, I did spend a lot of years doing ceramics, um, and I haven't done it in a while, but it is a major passion of mine that I just don't have the means to do at the moment. But I, I really truly love, um, uh, doing ceramic, uh, sculptures. Um, and I love specifically Raku ceramics, which is, I don't know if there's anyone in the chat today who's familiar with Raku ceramics. Have you ever heard of it, mm -hmm. Victor? I have. Oh, yes. awesome. Um, so for, for those of you who may be um, unfamiliar in the chat, um, <clears throat> Raku ceramics is a Japanese form of like ceramic glazing um, and firing. And basically what you do is you create like a pinch pot or a sculpture or whatever you're doing and you have these glazes that can, you can actually literally make a glaze that when fired looks, it comes out with texture and metallic um, flecks that make it look like alligator skin. Um, oh, wow. Yeah, it's really cool. Yeah. And what you do is normally when you fire a, a like you bake or fire um, a pot or whatever it is that you made, um, you put it into the kiln um, and you know you turn it on. It it bakes for however long it has to bake, and then you let it cool down and you pull it out once it's once it's cool. With raku, what you do is you pull it out when it's red hot like lava, and you put it into a um, a canister of combustible materials, which could be like newspapers, um, uh, wood chips bark, um, dry leaves, anything that is like kind of like organic and combustible. Mm -hmm. And it catches fire like immediately as soon as that red hot, like, like yellow, um, glowing pot touches the materials, it just like catches fire. And then you put the lid on it and you just let it burn down inside of like this metal canister. Um, and then when you pull it out, you do have to, um, you have to like, 
spray it down and scrub it down and stuff but you reveal like these ink like it's almost like a like an incredible like cornucopia of possibilities when it comes to this um because there's a lot of different combustible materials that get different colors and textures and react differently to the um i guess you would say the chemical compounds and and right. uh, mineral compounds in the glazes and it's so fun um it is it is so fun um, but a lot of work and very dangerous if you're not careful. Um, but it is a passion of mine. And the moment that I'm able to kind of resume doing that, I will. Um, cause I love it. <laughs> it's awesome. Yeah, it's, uh, Have you it's ever tried, uh, 3d printing some of your, um, some of the things that you create or anything like that? Um, I have not tried 3D printing, but I should. I'm also a 3D artist, even though I don't post a lot of my work. I use ZBrush and I do um, right. creature character design in ZBrush um, whenever I'm working with it. And I have finished busts and stuff and I've thought about like printing it out, but I just have never gotten around to it. Um, and it's something that I would really love to do um, because that would just be, you know, amazing. Um, to just be able to create my own creature busts and then just have one sitting on my desk. Yeah. You know? Um, uh, but yeah, it's definitely a uh, uh, something that I've thought about. There's something extremely satisfying to designing something and then you actually get to hold it in your hands and kind of turn it in space. Oh, and, yeah. Uh, and, and things like that. Um, we have these sculptures of our of our hands of our arms and like very small that we put on our walls and it's just something to just kind of like be, you know even if it's in a small way that um just be able to kind of like hold it and move it and things like that is just amazing so i don't, I don't think that so feeling cool. ever gets old whether you're you're designing for prints or you're designing for um you know objects industrial design i don't think that um idea of of uh of seeing your work actually completed and done ever gets old oh that's so cool i i would yeah i would i would love to do it and i think um i, I really think that you're right i have that feeling a lot when it comes to like creating certain things especially um for example i i really love to um i like what i mean not now not lately but um i love to table at conventions yeah and um there is something like so totally satisfying about um like drawing something and then ordering a sticker and then now you have a sticker of like something awesome that you've created and you're just kind of like i i made this yeah. i i actually literally still I, my mom thinks it's hilarious um i will get my my stickers that i order when i do create a new sticker um and i will bring it to my mommy <laughs> and i was like mom look i made yeah. this and she goes wow baby good job <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And that never gets old. Never um, gets old. It's it's literally so satisfying. Um I honestly I I urge everyone like cuz I know that you know doing um something like that is not, you know, a uh, a, a thing that everyone has available to them you know not everyone mm -hmm. can just straight up order um so some stickers of something that they've made um but i recommend um if you can go to um a store and see if you can get like um some sticker paper um and and like print something out and like make yourself even if it's not super high quality print something out and just like m like make yourself a little sticker and 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 stick something to some place that you have drawn um and just like see how it makes you feel it's it's really kind of a cool thing to just be able to look at something physical that you made um yeah and it's uh it's a it's 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 kind of a lot of fun um and you can i think you can still get that feeling even if you're not ordering you know like a big order of of stickers. Um, and that's something that I did, um, before I started making stickers regularly is I just was like, you know what? I just want to see, you know, I just want to know, I just want to see what this is all about. I'm going to try it. Um, and I did that. I just went, I went to Walmart, I got some sticker paper and, um, I, uh, I printed out like a little, um, I painted like a, like a man with a wolf head, Mm -hmm. holding like a potion or something and it was kind of like not like i said it's some you know when you're using like a regular home printer like the colors and stuff don't come out um very well but like yeah. i still have that sticker like stuck to an old folder binder thing that i had years ago and 
I j I'm proud of it because I got to see and hold something I made. Um, so yeah, try that out, folks. It's uh, it's kind of cool. I agree. I highly encourage it. Make stuff, even if it's not exactly, quote unquote, professionally printed or whatever. Just make it and put it out there, and yeah, uh, the, the feeling's awesome. Just do the it. Feeling to create is awesome. Um, so. I'm gonna look through chat and make sure we're not missing any questions. Um, Deanna Congdon says, we love watching him create and are super proud. I'm thinking my fifth graders would love a video chat visit from this talented duo. Um, that that's sounds like a sister. lot of fun. Oh, that's your sister? Oh, man. That's my I, sister. <laughs> I, am, I am honestly down for any and all uh, video um, hangouts about art where I can talk to talk to kids and hopefully inspire the next generation of creators. That sounds yeah. like an amazing uh, bit of fun. Yeah, no, you should definitely have Val in your classroom. I think you would be awesome. Oh, thank you. Um, yeah. <laughs> That's uh, really good. Matt says, Victor, we are making an arm sticker from your sketch tonight. That's what he says. Oh, really? That's cool. You know what? I actually, <laughs> no like, question. just this, like, this line, like, kind of inking thing that you've created thus far, I would totally mm -hmm. put this um, uh, on, like, on something as a sticker, um, to be perfectly honest. I'll, we will send you one. Once it gets oh, done, we will send you one. I love that. And one of the reasons I do uh, most, if not all of my inking in Illustrator is because of situations like that, where I would do something and then Matt or somebody else would say, oh, we're going to do that really, really big or really small in a sticker or whatever. So having the vector version of it is always like super helpful. Oh, and yeah. It comes in like handy to what we do. Nice, nice. Being uh, being prepared. That's That's good. Um, I learned that the hard way when I realized that I wanted to do some like stuff on like an actual like real printed scale when I first started doing um, uh, like creating merchandise for for mm -hmm. tabling at conventions and I was like oh man I I um, I painted this like back when like before I had upgraded my computer and I couldn't make you know files that were very large and I had like these these teeny tiny itty bitty files that just mm -mm, they just were not cutting it and uh yeah. um now i i work um a tip for all of you folks out there who are thinking maybe in the future you might like to um create something um standard um dpi for print like when you're creating your file um you want to set that to 300 i don't work in anything lower than 300 dpi mm -hmm. unless for whatever reason a client like asks me to but they typically don't do that um and uh, I'm always now prepared, like, just in case I have to print something. Um. It's funny how we, we have, we all have stories of these, like, hard lessons that we had to, like, learn uh, because of a situation like that, where we just kind of like, oh, I didn't plan ahead. Yep. Yep. Exactly. What uh, happens to us all? What, uh, what, what would you say, like, if you, if you can think of anything off the top of your head, what would you say is, like, a kind of a lesson like that for you, like kind of a hard lesson that you learned the hard way that you would, you know, kind of advise people against or advise people differently to do than what you did in that situation. You know, it's always kind of like the silly things that seem like, you know, like obvious that you shouldn't, you should or you shouldn't do, like make sure you save backups of all your files, make oh, yeah. sure that you, um, that you save for print at least, um, even though I think this is kind of changing, but make sure that your your stuff is, uh, I'll put it as CMYK as opposed to RGB. Mm -hmm. I had this, one of my first big projects, I had it set up as RGB as instead of uh, CMYK for print and everything turned out like all my greens turned out brown and vice versa. Oh, all no. the colors were all skewed. So it's that kind of stuff. Uh, just like, oh, that should have, I should have like, you know, thought ahead. Oh God. Um, but yeah. <laughs> Um, save your work, save a few different versions of it, and um, don't flatten your files until you're, you know, like have a version that's still layered so you can go back and, and uh, rework them. Yep. So it's like little things like that. I agree. I agree. Those are all great things. Um, let's see. Uh, da, 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 da. Make sure anyone making product labels. Um, 
uh, for white BOPP or clear BOPP is what you need if you want labels that are oil and water resistant. I see when it comes to making labels and stuff, I don't, I don't, I mean, I know a lot of people have like certain specifications and things that they, mm -hmm. that they do, um, uh, for it, but I found a company that handles it for me. Um, and it's something that is like available mostly to, to like, I think most of the general public, um, too, for not, you know, like a pretty reasonable price in my opinion is I, I got a sticker mule. Um, I've never, yeah. ever, ever been disappointed with sticker mule. Um, and they have a team that is so fast and so quick when it comes to, um, creating, uh, you know, the final files and curating stuff that is just unbelievable and their quality is super high and they will tell you, um, you know, please look over your files about sizing and whatever. And, um, they will also send you the stickers that are always, um, uh, vinyl all weather, uh, stickers. And I can tell you that I have, um, a friend that has had two of my Burb Order stickers. I did um, Kylo Ren and General Hux as really chubby, mm -hmm. adorable birds. Um, <laughs> so it's Kylo Ren as in like W-R-E-N and then Reneral Hux. So they're both like, like I mean, you know. Um, and uh, sh she's had them on her car for about four years and they look like new. Um, so if you're looking for like a really good, uh, kind of company to do stickers, um, uh, that, that last, um, sticker mule is the, is the place to go. It's the place to be hands down. Awesome. Yeah. I've done a few things with them and, um, their turnaround time was really, really good. So I agree. Oh yeah. I, um, I once, so the only time I ever had like an issue with production with sticker mule, number one, I remember I ordered something um, from them and, uh, the file didn't like turn out the way that it seemed in the proof that they sent me. Um, mm -hmm. and I sent them an email and I said, you know, this, you know, this doesn't really look the way that I expected it to look. And I have a convention to go to, um, like next week. And so I don't, I don't even know if I can get replacements for these cause I have to sell these. Um, and they said, we're going to give you this order for free. And they oh, overnighted wow. me a, a brand new set of the stickers that were perfect, which I was not expecting at all. Um, and then one time it was user error. I uploaded the wrong file to them without the proper oh. border and die line. Um, and then I went out of town and didn't have my computer, um, with me to edit them. And I messaged them and said, I really need this to have a die line. Do you guys, are, are you guys have a way that you can do this for me? And they sent me a file that they edited for me with exactly what I wanted. And it was perfect. Um, and I, and awesome. I ordered them that way. So great customer service, man. That goes a long way. Yep. Top notch. Long Top way. notch. Good. So that's my, that's my rant about how great sticker meal is. If you guys are interested in where I get <laughs> stickers. <laughs> Awesome. All right. I'm kind of like, I've made like this cylinder. That's, I, I think, I mean, this is all purely fictional, um, but I think it sort of looks like maybe some kind of like shooting cylinder that's like kind of welded to the underside of this arm. I'm There's not sure. Um, okay. So we're going to see if I can make it look like it shines. It's kind of purpley right now, but I'm thinking I'm going to change it to like a silver um, so that it looks separate, like more separate from this. Um, and I just absolutely love how your um, concept is coming along. You've got like not only these great details like coming in, um, but I also Thank like you. how you've added like the other side that has like um, alternate shading colors and stuff. So it really like it's, it's a kind of a flat illustration, but it still has really nice depth to it. Thank you. I Thank love you. it. Yeah, that's, I was kind of going for just a little bit of value, a little bit of shape uh, without getting too deep into it. So I appreciate you saying that. Oh, you're very welcome. Um, 
Let's see, any other person here in Mrs. C's class other than Mrs. C? <laughs> I think some <laughs> of the students have jumped in. Welcome in, everyone. It's good to good to have you. Um, also, quick reminder, we've got about 30 minutes left of this broadcast, um, and we are going to be pulling up social media um, pretty soon and looking at any designs that you folks have created. So if you downloaded the template, which you can still get, if you look below the video player, there'll be a little template that you folks can, can get and, um, kind of do your own bionic arm, um, design, um, please do so and, and tweet it to us. Um, I don't think that we're able to use the hashtags, um, on, Instagram for this like we usually do. Um, so if you could please uh, tweet it with the hashtag Adobe Live Design Off, which is listed right here on the screen so you can see. Um, please tweet it to us with that hashtag because I'm gonna pull up Twitter um, at the end of stream and I'm gonna give you folks a shout out um, and just kind of say thank you for um, your work and, and show off what you have created. Uh, and uh, yeah, we're really um, eager to see what people have created, what, they, what they've done um, for this episode of the Design Off. So let us see your work, even, even if it's unfinished. Um, yes, please. Yeah, we do not care if you do not turn in a perfect 100% finished, incredible, um, you know, design. We're not looking for a masterpiece. We just really want to see what you folks made. Um, and we also want to, you know, just give you a shout out and, and a thank you for being so awesome and getting involved with us today. So we appreciate it. And um, please tag us as well at Limitless3D in Instagram and in uh, Twitter if yes. you could so that we can see your amazing creations because we like to share this with our with our, our kids um with you know the kids who are who receive these um these arms they get really really excited and like i said yesterday they they're very stoked they're very kind of like energetic about these arms and about wearing it they want to stand out they want to be different so um they're they're very they're very special so um anything that you could do just to kind of like you know push the envelope let's see let's uh, create arms that these kids would be really really um, excited to wear. So I think anything that you guys produce would be really, really great. Yeah. Yeah. Please, please, please um, tag us. Um, and, and yeah, what, when he says like push the envelope, um, I mean, I'm, I'm adding a web shooter to, to this arm. I, you know, I'm, I'm trying to, um, you know, give this a mechanism where it's not just that it's like spider verse themed, like you yeah. actually maybe could like shoot a projectile from this this arm so um like go for it like really let your kind of imaginations um run a little wild and and see what you can create what you can come up with we were just talking about um star wars earlier of course of course of course the, before the chat started <laughs> so i'm thinking is like if this was in the star wars universe maybe uh, the Jedi's could have like a lightsaber come out of it, or if it's in the Marvel universe, maybe Wolverine would have, you know, like uh, lightsaber claws coming out of it, or something like some sort of mashup, or mm -hmm. something like that. So please allow yourselves to, you know, the sky's the limit in this kind of stuff. Um, um, like I said yesterday, I love the ridic ridiculous ideas. Yeah. So by all means, please go for it. Um, and also, I mean, I would be super stoked and interested to see if there's any Mega Man fans out there. Um, just like an arm that, sh cause we were talking about like, you know, designing arms that have like the nerf dart shooters, mm -hmm. but like, I really like those nerf shooters that have like the big giant, like kind of golf ball sized, like, you know, projectile, uh, thing. Yeah. So that would be super cool. Just like a, like a superhero arm that just like launches this, this super cool, um, uh, uh, kind of circular thing. So that would be neat too. you know, anything that you guys can, that you guys can imagine, just, you know, um, see if you can create us a concept. Um, and then also though, like I mentioned yesterday, um, as long as you, um, as long as you keep, you know, uh, certain things in mind, um, cause remember we are designing, um, things, uh, you know, for, for children, um, with limb differences. Um, and so one thing we do want to keep in mind is being respectful, um, and also sensitive to, uh, I guess maybe not putting elements of like serious gore and things like that on these mm -hmm. arms, because that could be something that would be, um, maybe a little less savory <laughs> than, um, than a lot of these other friendly designs. So, you know, keep it, keep it, keep it family friendly, keep it respectful. Um, 
while you're creating them, but um, uh, have fun um, above all, because like Victor said, I think these kids love to have a lot of fun uh, with the bionic arm designs. Um, and so creating something super fun that they can see and maybe inspire them to um, to to do some creative stuff of, of their own would be really, really cool. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, and that's one of the things that keeps us going at Limitless is just kind of their energy, their, their um, their just enthusiasm for what they do, just their enthusiasm for just like, you know, living life in general. So it's, it's one of those things that, that, um, that uh, we try to instill in everything that we do over there. So thank you. Nice. Nice. Uh, Elevation really loves Mega Man. I'm into it. Um, let's see. Every time I hear Mega Man, I can't, uh, I keep thinking of Mega Mind. I, that's fair. That's yeah. fair. <laughs> I, I, I can, I can understand. I can totally understand. Uh, did I submit a vector or raster file? Um, I sent them literally. Um, I think Elevation is talking about um, the like sending designs to um, Sticker Mule. I sent them a PNG file um, with like a transparent background um, and they did like the dial lines and everything for me. Um, I even sent them um, one time I sent them a JPEG and just said, I really wanted this created as a sticker, but I lost the original files. Is there anything mm -hmm. you can do with this? Um, and they sent me like what they thought was the, the best size for the quality of image that I sent. And it was cleaned up a little bit around the edges. Like they're, they're, it's good. It's good stuff. Um, I also, I think what I'm going to do for this is I'm going to put like these random symbols that aren't actually words but like mimic words and it's gonna be like i think maybe a concept of like this idea that there is um like a barcode and title for this cartridge of like web um so i'm gonna like kind of come in with like some different um Oh, you know what? Okay. Actually, actually, I have a barcode font. Wait a second. I want to like I want to put a barcode like on this cartridge so it's like, you know, like like a stark issued, you know, cylinder of web uh stuff. Um but I think let me pull up my text. Um I'm going to write uh stark Industries or no wait wait hold on I'm gonna put I'm gonna put limitless. Uh, yeah, like I mentioned yesterday, Albert at Limitless is our own Tony Stark, uh, genius engineer uh, with creative spirit. So I'm gonna put. Oh, did I lose you there? Oh, I I think I had a I think I had like a, a small hiccup there. Um, oh, I'm sorry. With the with the stream, um, I want to make sure everyone else in the chat. You guys can all hear us, can't you, folks? I want to make sure um, that everyone in the chat hasn't lost us or something. There hasn't been like a internet hiccup. Let me see. Can everyone? Just by luck, that the storm finally passes, and today is when I have internet issues. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't yesterday. It was today. Oh man. No, I, I think um, I'm, I'm okay. Everyone can hear us. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, I did have like a slight hiccup there, but I wanted to make sure it wasn't with my internet um, um, and that we didn't like, it didn't pull us off air uh, there. Cause that happens. That's like kind of the nature of streaming though, is like sometimes you have a hiccup and then it's like, mm, we can drop the stream and you're like, please don't. And it's like, no, we can drop it. We, we, we can get rid of it. It's not that important. Right. And I'm like, God, no, no. All right, I'm gonna look for this. I don't know, I can't remember what this font is called, but I do have, oh, there we go. Bar, it's just called barcode font. Excellent. Ah, that makes sense. Yeah, so I'm gonna put like, it just says limitless web, and I'm gonna put that on like the underside here of this little thing. Um, and I think I am even going to arc it. I'm gonna do like the warp text and do like a, maybe not like that. Uh, maybe actually like that, but we can. <laughs> maybe not like that, but actually like that. Yeah, maybe like that, but like not like that at all. Um, let me see. I'm going to be really bad here, and I'm just going to straight up warp this, I think. 
um, which is really bad. Don't try this at home, kids. I'm gonna actually convert this to smart object first. Transform, warp. Now, this is also something that one could um, use like a displacement map for to make it look like it's wrapping around something, but I don't have time for that. So I'm just gonna do it like this um, because just that's good it. enough for me, yeah. Swing it um, is just as good. Yep. Um, and then I also think something that probably needs to be done um, is in keeping with this limitless web kind of arced text across the cylinder, um, I need to kind of arc this upward as well um, so that it looks like it kind of follows the same rules of perspective in a way. Um, it's not perfect, but it'll do. That also, one thing that I say um, with my siblings all the time, every time we decide that we're gonna leave something as is, like it's good enough for us, um, we do the Shrek quote, um, mm -hmm. and that is, that'll, that'll do, pig, that'll do. That'll do. Or is it is it pig or donkey? That's I don't from, know, but it's, that, yeah. Do the, the pig one I think is from Babe. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then, but he yeah. says he says donkey in Shrek. That'll yeah. do, donkey, that'll do. Um, so we do that. There's this designer here in Orlando that once told me very wise words. His name's Tom Hope. He's like, don't let perfection get in the way of good enough. Mm. You know, because mm. sometimes we get so kind of like in the weeds of like how something should look. Yep. Um, only uh, only we notice it and everybody else won't notice it. So. I think, I think that's part. excellent, excellent advice. It's a wise man. Um, now that I'm thinking of it, uh, I think maybe I kind of arced it a little too much because now it looks strange. Um, let me see. I'm just going to do this slightly. I'll do it again. But so who do you think would be wearing this arm? Would it be uh, spider one? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Like, I, I, well, I was kind of like inspired by her, but I would say um, maybe like just people who were like big fans of Spider-Gwen um, or people who are like me and they're fans of um, Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse and they really love the color purple. Um, I tried to like kind of create something fun, but I mm -hmm. also kind of wanted to create something that like I would want to wear, you know? Um, yeah. Cause I'm trying to put myself into, sh into the shoes of like someone who um, is has a limb difference and I'm thinking like, okay, you know, I'm going to create this. I want to imagine myself like kind of wearing it and, and, and how would this make me feel? And, um, is this something that I would be happy with? Um, and I feel like I am, I, I do like it pretty well. And if I'm happy mm -hmm. with it, then at least one other person would be happy with it. Um, and so I think that that means I succeeded. Um, that's something that I try to like kind of, think about um with anything that i do creatively um is sometimes people will not really like your design but i think there's something to be said for the 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 validity of like you just really liking what you created regardless of what the majority thinks of the design um yeah. and i think that we get we oftentimes get like very lost in like this idea that other people must love our designs in order for the design to be good um, and that simply isn't true. You know, sometimes it's, 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 sometimes it really is all about you chat. Um, <laughs> not, maybe not as often as we would like, but sometimes it really is all about you and just what you're passionate about and what you are proud of, you know, in, in, in your own work. And so, um, I also remember that there are, just in case anyone didn't know, there are so many humans on planet earth. There are so many of us. And if you have an idea that you think is really cool, there is at least one other human that will think it's the dopest thing ever to come to pass. I agree. Like, you know, there's at least one other person that will see it and be like this right here. This is what I showed up for today. This is what I wanted in my life. Um, and you might not get that reaction from everyone um, because not, not everybody is the same way, but y you know, at least one person will just think you're the coolest cat out there um for your design so so sometimes just you know do do that 
um, that you think is cool. Um, and that's kind of how I feel about my Spider Gwen inspired uh, web shooter limitless arm today. I think it's pretty rad and I think at least one other person will think it's pretty awesome too. I think it's pretty rad too. So there you go. Thank I'm you. the other person. <laughs> Thanks. I'm the other person. Victor showed up for this today. There we go. He, he joined the stream and he was like that. <laughs> what Val is making right now. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> I have to go back and watch the stream, the stream just so I can watch you work because I don't get, you know, as we're working, we don't get a chance to see it, but I really, I keep peeking over. I was like, oh, that's cool. That's cool. <laughs> I want to do that. Thanks. So, uh... <laughs> All right. I'm going to write just on here. I'm going to write like uh, limitless web shooter. All right. And we are coming up pretty soon um, to, to uh, where I want to make sure I'm also spelling limitless right. Um, I, I, we're all coming up to the end of the stream here where we are going to be taking a look at social media pretty quickly, folks. So um, if you have any sketches um, that you would love to share um, for the uh, limitless uh, bionic arm design, please do so because in a matter of minutes, I'm going to be... Um, pulling up Twitter and checking out what you folks have designed. Okay, Limitless Web Shooter, there we are. Um, we got it. I'm kind of using my, my, my weird um, all caps handwriting that I always use when I'm drawing in Photoshop. Um, that's like not what my handwriting looks like unless I'm making notes to myself in a Photoshop, uh, file. So I got the web shooter here. Um, I'm going to add like some kind of, let me see if I can grab, uh, my gradient tool. I'm going to grab this. I'm going to come down to my other thing here and I'm going to add a gradient to this as well. Um, and then I'm going to put that on a clipping mask. Ta-da! Um, and then I'm going to turn the opacity down on it, I think. Um, so now I have also um, a kind of gradient on my other side view of this arm. Um, and then I'm going to kind of do like, I think when it comes to concept art, you can get away with like kind of, uh, I'm trying to, I have a term for this, but it's not appropriate for stream. Um, I'm try, you can get away with sort of like, I guess the, uh, the only, like the, the, the family friendly way is just saying like BSing like certain mm -hmm. portions of it. Like I'm going to put it in there. Um, and it's not what it is. I'm not spending any time on making it what it is, but because I have like more of a detailed version, like you can kind of see like what it is and, and make inferences about, you know, what the, what the design is. Um, so I'm just like gonna, draft? yeah, okay. I'm just gonna like grab, um, like a darker color and I'm just going to come in underneath here. Um, and I am going to make a silhouette of the web shooter on this side view and I'm not going to add any detail to it but since I have the the back view up with like the painting of it then you're like oh okay that's that thing um and that's that <laughs> like see that's smart because you did it the right way whereas if we were actually producing these hands we would need all the different kinds of views so that we can kind of sculpt it so we can kind of have something to go by like mine mine here are like a start a start uh, drawing a start version of it that we then have to like flesh out like you did so you you skipped a lot you're a lot smarter you're, you skipped several steps um, <laughs> and, then, um and, and went straight to it so that's awesome it's the uh the the wannabe concept artist in me i think um yeah. <laughs> I never, I never really, like, I tried doing concept art for a time, but I never really, like, got into it and, like, had a passion for it, mostly because, mm -hmm. like, I would, like, begin to do concept art for, like, another person's project and be like, I just kind of want to draw my own stuff. I don't really want to draw yeah. your stuff. 
<laughs> your stuff is cool, but it's not, it's not what I want. Um, and so like, I, so I like spent some time like trying to figure out how to like, okay, if I'm going to do a design for an arm thing, then I do have to show it like X, Y, and Z, but I just never do it Yeah. <laughs> until now, <laughs> until now I'm doing it. Um, okay. Now I have kind of this, there we go. Kind of Every time I, I do one of these things, I always think there's like people like at home going, you know how, how you're, you, you have, you, you work in Illustrator or Photoshop your own way mm -hmm. and everybody has their like way of doing things. So I'm, I'm sure there's probably people going, Vic, just click that button. That's yeah, just do, do it. Like, what are you, just oh my it. gosh. <laughs> that's when I, that's when I'm do like usually when I'm like doing the Photoshop daily creative challenge and I'm like, by the way, everyone has their own way to do this. So if you have another, <laughs> if you have another way, show it to me. Don't, don't get mad. <laughs> Look at that. I, I do want to point out to all my students who pass and presents that are probably watching, that could be watching, I did name all my layers. Ooh. So Ooh. there's that. Wow. Before, you know, and Matt, Matt Dabrowski is watching. So I did name all my layers. So there we go. Also, um, we do have to switch over and kind of show off what folks have done um, in do the uh on social media real quick um, because we've got just a few minutes left here. So I am going awesome. to pop over. I'm kind of, I, well, first I'm gonna kind of like zoom out here so that you can see like the main thing that I've designed. Maybe you wanna like kind of full screen yours and, and, and zoom in a little so people can take a gander at like what we have down. Um, that, oh man, that looks so cool. That's going to make an Thank excellent you. sticker. I'm so, I'm Thank so <laughs> pumped for it. Um, but yeah, so I've got, you know, I've got like my web shooter and, and everything kind of mocked up in here. I'm pretty pleased with this. I might even like to do some more detail on it, to be perfectly honest. Um, it looks fact, so but... good. And, and that looks so fun. Thanks. I mean, I can, you grab it. Yeah. I can imagine the, 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 the child just running around, just kind of like with a silly spray. Yeah. Know, like just yeah. Kinda... Like a can of silly spray. Yeah, exactly. It's so good. Um, but yeah, I, I, I had a really, a really good time, um, kind of getting to create this with you. So, so thank you very much. Blast. Um, and, uh, so good. let's, uh, let's, let's look at yours. You got like a, a handful of, uh, pretty fabulous, I think, um, uh, designs here that you're starting to kind of like really flesh out. Slowly but surely. Yeah. I'm getting the, the digital inks down, making them all vector, make, making them all, I have to go back and kind of like tweak them a little bit here and there, but for the most part, they're, uh, they're looking really clean and um, I'll go back and add some shading here and there, but I think they're looking good. Awesome. I awesome. Looking good. Um, and then let's, uh, let's jump over into the, uh, into Twitter, shall we? I'm going to one, Please. I'm going to do one little pass real quick, just to make sure no one's being naughty and posting <laughs> uh, unrelated stuff into the hashtag. And then we're going to, then we're going to pull it up. I think we got one from, I think we, we had Colby post his, so we're just going to be looking at Colby's today. Um, but if anyone at all, if you have any designs that you would like to share during the week, please do, because I will show it on the next episode of design off. I always go back and look at them. Um, so this is, says Kobe Kleitz. Um, here's my hashtag Adobe live design off bionic arm design for the challenge today on Adobe live. Glad to see limitless and Adobe doing cool stuff. Hashtag uh, illustrate on iPad. Ooh, hey oh Illustrator on iPad. Um, hashtag 3D hope. I love it. Um, so this is the Serenity design. Um, and this is awesome. This is like, um, if I can kind of just like tell you what I see, I see like calming, tranquil waves of ocean. That's kind of what I see in this design. Um, and I don't Absolutely. know if that was your intention, Colby, but I just really like it. Um, uh, Sam Peterson says the yeah. concept artist in me wants to design a whole series of these arms with original heroes. They're from each with unique powers and backstories. Please, please do it. Like, <laughs> please that would be that. awesome. And make sure you tag us at our uh, Instagram and our and our um, our Twitter at 3D Hope. Um, that would be great to see. Yes, I. Um, but I love this. Um, and I'm gonna I'm gonna check and well, first of all, I'm actually gonna retweet this. Um, I'm sorry, I said at 3D host, it's at Limitless 3D. I, I got my information <laughs> incorrect. I, I get all excited. There we go. I'm going to say retweet, and then I'm going to refresh here because I know that a lot of times uh, things typically come in at the very end. Yeah, there we go. There's one from Chad Rolfs. This is awesome. Uh, Chad did the shadow design, and uh, this looks like um, like some serious like tribal pattern um design which is just really amazing this is this is a, that's a lot of detail um chad this is really really super awesome um i love it 
Um, it's very like, it's very like powerful, I think is, is kind of like what I would think if I saw somebody um, with this oh. arm. So this is cool. Oh, there we go. I'm seeing it now. Uh, um, oh, wow. That's amazing. Isn't that cool? That is really, really great. Yeah. That, that would is make awesome. a really, really cool arm. I'm going to refresh one last time. I think it's from Chad and Colby. But yeah, anyone else that creates something, please continue to submit them during the week because I will check them out. I will retweet them. I know that Victor and Matt and everyone from um, who, who takes a look at the, the Limitless stuff will probably be um, kind of on the lookout for your designs as well, just looking to see what folks are making. Um, and remember, even if you don't end up finishing your design, you can still send it to us. We still really just want to see. Um, and if you did post your design on Instagram, unfortunately, we couldn't look at them today because there's an interesting kind of wonky thing going on with the hashtags. Um, mm -hmm. But if you post it on Instagram and didn't post it here and kind of missed the stream, um, please feel free to repost it because I will still take a look Look at it um, and and pull it up um, for for next time. Um, but that is all That's the time really, we have. That's really exciting. That's really great. Thank yeah. you. Yeah, I, I I had a blast with you um, yesterday and today, Victor. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you. I had a great time just like geeking it out with you and just kind of like talking. It was a really really great great time. Thank you. Oh, you're very welcome. Uh, we'll have to do it again sometime. Um, and thank you, Matt, for being in the chat. Thank you, everyone who joined us today. Yes, everyone. Claps for Matt. Um, thank you everyone for joining us in the chat and spending time with us and, and chatting with us. Um, thank you, Victor's mother, for being here Thanks, and supporting Mom. Victor. Um, and then I believe you have the Limitless Twitter and Instagram right there in the yes, corner. Yes, please follow screen. us. It's right there. Yeah. We'd appreciate a follow and tag us. And um, hello and goodbye. And thanks for joining us from uh, Mrs. Congdon's uh, fifth grade class. Too. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you, kids. Yeah, for, for coming to hang out. Um, and please give us a follow um, online. I think Sam will post um, our links in the chat. Um, but we are cutting it short here today. So we got to take off. Adios, everybody. Thank you for joining us. Thanks so much, Val. Good night.